Hey, what is going on everyone? Thanks for stopping by. If you're new, I just want to say welcome to my channel. I gained a few new subscribers uh, since I've been on Evan Eckert's Past the Art. And if you're unfamiliar with Past the Art, it is a YouTube art series that Evan is hosting on his channel. And it involves himself and some very talented artists. And there is, uh, you start with a themed art piece, an original art piece, and the artist passes it on to another artist where they can add on, they can get inspired, or they can even do a whole new piece if they wanted to. So I was lucky enough that uh, Evan asked me to participate in episode number three, which is Mythical Creatures, and that episode is now live. I think it live a couple days ago. So if you haven't seen it, I will put a link in the description and I'll also put a link to Evan's channel too. So check both of those out. And um, yeah, I got a few questions on my coloring technique and how I colored uh, my piece. So I will show you guys that today. I'm going to do a little tutorial on my techniques and my coloring process. So first off, I'm going to show you my piece that I submitted. And here it is. Like I said, it was Mythical Creatures. So it is something I made up as an original piece. And um, this is the coloring technique that I got some questions about. It is, um, it is a graphic piece. It's a graphic look. It's not like it's smooth blending or anything, but it's bold. And uh, that's what I liked about it. So it, the technique is uh, used with gradients mostly. And this tool right here. Oh, sorry, wrong one. This tool right here, the lasso tool. So this is what I was talking about here. You know, the, the lines and actual fur. So I'm going to show you guys that today. This is one piece that I've used the technique. I have another one right here. Um, this is from The Last of Us, a piece that I'm working on. And you can see that the the body has no no shading or no highlights yet, but the face does. And then again, there's the technique again with the lasso tool and uh, the gradient. So yeah, I am going to show you guys that right now. So let's get started. Okay, so I got my line drawing here. Let me bring it up. And this is Charlie Conway from the Mighty Ducks, the movie. Um, it is a project I'm working on for a, a sports magazine. So I'm going to use this. And um, the line drawing I actually did in Illustrator. But it doesn't matter. This technique will work if you do it in Illustrator or Photoshop. I'm just more comfortable with getting clean lines in Illustrator. But before you get started, you want to make sure that your character or your drawing the lines are all closed because we're going to be using the magic wand tool to select each section to color in and if the lines are open your selection will just click uh, sorry select your whole piece so let's get started all right so I'm going to open up my skin tones here I have my highlights to my shadows and we are going to create a new layer and bring that underneath your line drawing and we're going to title it skin so now click on your magic wand and the shortcut is W. Go back to your line drawing and click on what you want to color with your skin. So I'm going to click the face and you see that the neck wasn't selected so I'm going to hold shift. it will add a plus sign and I'm going to click the neck, his arm and his other ear. Now before you get started with filling these in with actual color, click back to your skin layer and you can see with the marching ants that it may cut off a little bit or not fill in and you might be left with a little bit of white pixels around your drawing. So to prevent that from happening, we're going to go up to select, modify, expand by two pixels. And now let's zoom in and you can see that it is actually on the black line. But since our skin layer is underneath the line drawing, this won't affect it. So let's fill this in. You can use the paint bucket tool or you can use the shortcut which is command backspace and it'll usually fill in with your background color. So after that's done, you're going to hit command D and deselect your marching ants. So now that our skin tone is filled in, let's add a little bit of um, shadows and a little bit of highlights. So I'm going to select my shadow not my darkest, but that one. And we are going to hit command and click on our actual layer and the marching ants appear again. So we are going to use the gradient tool, which is underneath or on top of the paint bucket tool on the side here. And the shortcut for that is G. 
Before we get started with the gradient tool, you have to set it up a bit. We're going to be using the first option, which is linear. And we're also using the second option, which is foreground color faded to transparency, as you can see there. Okay, so click back onto your skin. And now just give a little bit of a, a burst with the shadow. And you know, you can redo it a couple times. It doesn't, it's not gonna be perfect the first time. But the reason why I'm putting the shadows on the right hand side is because my light source is coming from the left side. And now the light source will be a sun or a light bulb, but the highlights will be on the left side of the face and the shadows will be on the right. And uh, it's good that you know that just because if you have more characters, like I have three characters in this piece, you want the shadows and the highlights and the lighting source to be consistent throughout. Okay, so now that the shadows are done, you want to select your highlight and do the same and just put it, give a little bit of a burst there. Okay, so now you can deselect that and now you can see it to start taking a little bit of form. So here comes the fun part. We are going to create a new layer and we're going to title it Shadow. And we are, this is where the lasso tool comes in now. So lasso tool is up top, shortcut is L, and we are going to click our darkest shadow. So now, like I said before, our highlights are on the left hand side, so our shadows are going to be on the right. Um, and if you have trouble with this, just get some reference. If you want, even use yourself, put a light to the side of your face and see where your shadows land. So some of the most obvious ones will be under the head or onto the neck. So I'm going to draw with my lasso tool. Just like that. Now try to stay on your black line so that your shadows don't affect the rest of your shadows because you're using transparency here and if they combine they're going to look like they're overlapping which you don't want. So use your gradient tool and just blast a little bit of a shadow. Okay. Now, I'm going to do one under the nose, so L to my lasso tool. And again, on the line. Gradient, and just blast the gradient there. And that's what you pretty much do with all the shadows now. And a cool thing with the lasso tool, I'll show you here, is Usually with these uh, these lines here, you want to stay with them, but say for by accident you go above, oops, you can use Alt, and that will minus your selection. So if you hold Alt and redraw, it will kind of erase. And say you want to make a bigger shadow, you hold Shift, and it'll add a plus sign and you can add a bit there. So that's always good to keep that so you don't have to always redraw. Oops, that's a bit dark. You don't always have to redraw every shadow or, or every highlight. So just can kind of continue, same technique, lasso tool. I'm gonna go around a little bit of the edge and with the chin. like that okay so now we're going to do the exact same technique with the highlights so create a new layer and title it highlights so you can either if you don't have a highlight you can click your your brightest and you can actually just try to boost it up a bit maybe add a little bit of a tone if you want some bounce light and we're going to do the same thing with the highlights now oops so Lasso tool, and let's go. So let's do the side of the nose that's most likely going to get hit with the most light off the bat. Gradient tool, and just blast that. Again, let's do some on the side of the face here.
oops, gradient. So yeah, that's pretty much the technique of it. So again, do it on the chin because the chin bulges out. And if you do it a bit harsh, so I'm gonna do it harsh on purpose and say that's too much for you, you can always use your eraser tool and use a soft round and you can just kinda brush out the edges a bit if it's too much for you. Well, yeah, so this is one character. Here is Coach Bombay. And again, here's this technique again. I used the shadows, the highlights, done the hair. And um, I also have Goldberg that I'm working on right now, and it's the same thing. So this is the Mighty Ducks piece. I have the logo there on the jersey. And uh, that is my tutorial on this kind of cartoony style of coloring. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it helps you guys out.